So CMP Records actually started off as a music publishing company and it goes back maybe I would say like three or four years. So this is what happened. I used to be a musician. I used to play live. Like I would play in clubs around here in Lawrence and I got tired of it. So I kind of got like tired of going out and practicing, going to the clubs and staying out late and whatever. So I stopped playing like 100%. I used to play uh, lead guitar and ba for bachata. And um, I stopped doing that. And then what I did was I took a break from music for a while. But you know, when you have a passion, it keeps like calling you back. So what I ended up doing was I started doing a little bit of research on the music business itself. And music publishing started to like catch my attention. So I did research on it. I did, I asked a bunch of my musician friends, like one of their biggest struggles. And it always happened to be like uh, copyrights, royalties, um, all that stuff. So um, after like learning more about it, I ended up starting a company. Uh, it's, it's called, it was uh, Trovalo Music Publishing. I signed, my first song was, was a song by one of my friends. And I signed the song and I held the song for a year. I couldn't do anything with it. Nobody wanted to record it. Nobody wanted to do anything, right? So fast forward a year, uh, one of my buddies ended up recording the song. And as with music, you record something and sometimes it doesn't, nothing happens to it. So they recorded the music. Another year passed by and the, they didn't release it. So I was like, you know what? I need to do something about this. I, in 2016, in December, I started a label. And I was like, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create the label and release the song. And I had built like all these friendships on Instagram through the bachata covers. And ended up finding out that a lot of the guys that were playing the covers were artists themselves. So we did a compilation album. And we put all the songs together, including that song. And we released our first album on, on the label. And that's how it started. Basically it was like, almost like a, uh, like a platform for myself and our music but then ended up being a platform for other artists to join and kind of like collaborate with us and start releasing music and stuff like that. That's literally how it happened. Just the community, just being able to, to reach so many people and not even worry about the lyrics and what they mean. It's just like that, that feeling and being able to, to do that and be a part of that. It just, I think it's just, I feel super honored to be like Latino because it's like our music is impacting lives some way or another in different countries, like all over the world. So like, I'm glad you mentioned that because I'm seeing that myself, like people from different genres are blending, they're blending music and that's what's happening right now. There's like boundaries are being knocked down because of it. And I think that's a beautiful thing. Like I, I just, I'm just,